Hey there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Nickel Finish Series 70 gas blowback pistol from Tokyo Marine. Here's my one, which as you can see is a, it's totally stock and I've not modified it in any way whatsoever. So it's going to be a review of the plain product itself, no alterations, no changes, just the way it comes out of the box. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago from WGCshop.com, which is a very large airsoft retailer in Hong Kong. As any of you follow the channel know, I, I shop with them a lot, and uh, they're always, always very good when it comes to the customer service side of things. Always good in terms of the prices, the shipping, how they package stuff, uh, and this order was no exception. So, uh, thumbs up for them. I will leave the link to their website down in the description box below. So, any guys who want pretty much anything airsoft, if you want it, Probably got it, so uh, check them out. So, onto the uh, finish series 70. I've already got the, the original series 70 that came out with the this sort of blued metallic finish, and they did a really nice job on that one. Um, but this obviously is the nickel, and I think this one's even better. For a plastic gun, I don't think you can beat this, frankly. I, I've not shot any WA systems, so obviously they're different. Then I think they tend to cost more, so. As the Tokyo Marui ones go, I think this is a. I think they've done a really fantastic job. When you, you first look at this, you struggle to tell that it is plastic. But you can, you know, really see if you're facing it. There's the camera. I mean, you know, I've made sure to give it a good, a good polish down with it. I just use one of those little cloths that you get when you buy a pair of glasses or sunglasses, and you can just give it a quick wipe down. It does. It is very prone to fingerprints. So uh, if you're going to handle it and you're one of those OCD people like me and you don't want it covered in greasy marks, be sure you wear gloves and like I say, one of those little cloths you get from like Boots Opticians or Specsavers or wherever that are good for cleaning glasses, they do a fantastic job, quick wipe down on this, gets rid of all those finger marks and you get back that really nice use it as a mirror kind of finish. Ergonomically it's pretty much a 1911A1, got the larger swirled main spring housing, no, uh, no adding magwell or anything, so it's just a simple open bottom frame there. It's got the, the oldest style grip safety and the oldest type hammer, no ring hammer or any sort of combat hammer or anything like that. Single sided safety, just there. Obviously, got the hammer to allow you to use it. Locks in really positively, good control on that. The sights, a little bit of a letdown, but then this is what the Series 70 from Colt was actually sent with, the, the standard really old school sights. They are, to be honest, extremely slow to acquire a target, but, you know, um, that's, they, they do work. And what they have done, and hopefully you'll be able to see some camera, on the front sight, just on the sloping edge that faces the shooter, they have put serrations, and that does help. That gets rid of a lot of the the gleam and the shine that you would have got if they just did a plain finish on it and it does make it that little bit better in terms of uh, getting a side picture. The trigger is nice and short and it's got serrations on the front of it which I think is a, makes for a good 1911 trigger. The magazine, <coughs> the magazine release just straight cuts again which gives it a good extra bit of grip versus just a plain one. Horizontal cuts on the slide lock lever. Nice positive control on that. It's a standard frame of course, pretty much the standard slide. What they have done nicely is the trades. Um, it's going to be tricky to see them, but they have done really good looking trademarks on here. And uh, it's about everything really. I mean, the, the outer barrel, that's actually, that's an odd thing. That's got some nice trades on the top there. No idea if you ever see them. And they've also uh, put sort of fake rifling down there. One thing I should point out, I did actually lie earlier on, as you a keen eye amongst you would have noticed, that's not the uh, that's not a stock barrel because it's not brass, it's uh, it's, it's more of a crude silver sort of finish, plain metal finish to go along with the rest of them. It's actually a, a type ball barrel and I've put the uh, the nine ball bucking in there which I find um, I've actually it's the whole hop unit 
the inner barrel and the bucking combination uh, I took straight out of another one of the pistols which I've uh, shot before in the skirmish and the, the range and accuracy is phenomenal with that combination. I can't remember whether it's PDI or Raven, they're the same company actually. Pretty sure it's PDI. But do this type board. I'll, I'll, put, um, I'll put that information down in the description box to tell you which because, uh, like I say, with the 9 ball bucking, this type board in a token room 1911. Accuracy and range, especially for a pistol, is it's hard to believe. Quite, quite honestly, it's um, you know you'll be shooting further than a lot of people's electric guns. A lot of people do. One thing that is also really impressive with this is the I don't know how they've done it, but when you when you do rack the slide and let it go, it's a lot less plasticky. Like the original 1911A1, the MEU, the Night Warrior, those other models from Tokyo Marori, they have a really plasticky sort of cheap, weak sounding sort of feel and the audio of it when you wrap the slide. And this one, you know, it's still not going to be uh, amazing. It is still made of plastic, but it's a lot better. Uh, so that's that's a bonus. Shooting wise, I, I couldn't tell you what the temperature is right now. It's not freezing cold or anything, but it is nearly November and it's not exactly hot. So. Brought one magazine. I've just filled it with gas, and I've put the uh, little limiting piece in here. Detent, can you call it? Basically, when you buy a token room pistol, you get that little cardboard box that says 45 caliber, whatever grain, um, automatic, and it just has BBs, a little barrel tool, the red plug for the end of the barrel, and it has these little detents in it, which when you put it in the magazine, it means you can fire the gun without having any BBs in. You don't have to constantly holding down the uh, slide lock to prevent the empty magazine locking slide back. So we'll see how many shots we can get. Fill that up with propane. Like I said, no BBs, so there's no iPro. So we'll see how many shots we can actually get out of this at a, a, a slow, medium-ish rate of fire in, uh, in a warm October, nearly November. Say it, we'll about call it there. By my count, that was about 35. I'm sure you guys out there will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that's that's really good going either way. That definitely get all the BBs out. Obviously, if it came to a skirmish and you know your your rifle ran dry or it malfunctioned or whatever, and you're playing CQC and you're like, oh shit, bam, bam, bam. you know you're probably going to fire faster than that. But if you're just pulling it out every now and then, just taking a one or two shots, which you might well be doing, then uh, uh, you know that's really good gas efficiency, and that that does come with plastic slide because there's very little mass to actually move back and forward. So you get a lot more shots per fill of gas. Which, when you're running these really thin 1911 magazines, which only have a very small gas reservoir, that's what you're going to want. So pretty impressive on that front. It's comfortable to hold. I, I find this smooth area on the uh, front of frame. I I wish it had checkering. I find that, like especially with gloves on, it gets a little slippery. I mean, it's not. It doesn't matter so much in terms of recoil because it's just a you know, it's just an airsoft pistol. It doesn't have any, especially being plastic um, and only running on propane. If it was like uh, you know, if it was aluminium or steel and running on uh, CO2, then it might be different. But. Uh, does feel a little bit loose in the hand, perhaps, um, especially with the, the swelled mainspring housing. It prevents you getting quite as close tight a grip on on the frame. But overall, you know, as a nice, it's more of a collector's piece to be honest. I will skirmish it just for the laughs because it's funny, but uh, it is more of something nice to look at. So there we have it, guys. The uh, nickel finish. Series 17 1911 from Tokyo Marui. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate all the likes, the subscribers, all that good stuff. If you want to see more sort of pictures of this gun, keep up with the videos being uploaded on the channel. I've got a
Facebook page, link to the channel, put a link down in the description box below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.